Well, also speaking out are two former governors of the Bank of Israel, Jacob Frankel and Carney Flug, in a joint opinion piece published this week on Ynet. They warned that the proposed judicial overhaul could lead to, quote, a possible downgrade in the country's credit rating, making it more costly for the Israeli government to raise funds with a negative impact on the overall economy. Well, joining us is a former deputy governor of the Central Bank, Professor Zvi Ekstein, today dean of the Tiamkin School of Economics at Reichman University and head of the Aaron Institute for Economic Policy, he joins us from Herzliya. And Professor Ekstein, let me ask you, do you, go with, do you, be, do you agree with uh, Connie Flug and Jacob Frankel that these reforms could affect Israel's international credit rating, and if so, how so? Well, uh, it is from uh, economic research. We know that once you do a huge reform that reduces the independence of the Supreme Court and the judiciary system, it introduces a lot of risk. How that would be implemented and how that would uh, affect uh, property rights, uh, taxes in the future, uh, the ability of companies uh, uh, to produce uh, new products, uh, to be in a liberal democratic system. So this big change introduces uh, a lot of risk. And this risk, usually, if it is implemented, would affect the, um, the attraction of uh, especially investment in Israel. And uh, Israel has been uh, doing excellent. The economy has been doing excellent in the last, uh, I would say, uh, 15 years. Um, the high-tech sector has grown to be um, probably the highest relative to uh, to the uh, size of the GDP in Israel in all uh, Western countries. And to a lot of extent, that has to be related to the overall uh, basic, strong, uh, resilient uh, properties of the Israeli economy, including uh, the very democratic, liberal, and advance uh, system that uh, save uh, property rights and actually has a long-term uh, planning on uh, uh, taxes, uh, et cetera. Right. Well, I, I, if you heard Prime Minister Netanyahu's quote in that report, uh, he says these are scare tactics, the markets agree, and we don't see the markets panicking here in Israel or investment. How do you, how do you respond to that? Look, uh, the current situation in the Israeli economy is excellent. We reduce the debt to GDP, which reduce risk. Um, GDP has been growing among the highest uh, among countries, even that the population is growing. Um, the, uh, the high tech sector has grown tremendously and it's uh, still very strong, although there are some uh, uh, slowdown in the sector. And uh, given the past uh, 15, 20 years of uh, very uh, uh, safe uh, policy, including a very liberal democracy and a very uh, well-run economic policies of employment, et cetera, and support of the ITEC sector in terms of in increasing the population that can work in the ITEC sector. Therefore, we see that the market a value the well, press action, we do we, we do see investment flowing into countries that have less liberal government policies, even so. No, no. Actually, we do see that countries that move from a relatively uh, liberal democracies to be uh, almost a dictatorship, like in Hungary and Poland and Turkey in particular, mm. uh, what we have seen in the recent years, uh, we see that uh, investment went down dramatically. Turkey is a good example. Uh, we have research, uh, Doron Asemoglu, Professor Doron Asemoglu from MIT and co-authors published recently, and they showed that countries that move from uh, non-democratic to a democratic liberal uh, um, system has grown effectively. And that includes Israel, the fact that we run very uh, responsible government policies and very responsible uh, policies regarding uh, property rights and regarding everything that related to uh, to companies to uh, actually issue their stocks in other countries. Uh, today, companies right. uh, pay a lot of attention to ESG, uh, to environment and social impact government. And uh, that uh, has been very strong in Israel as well. And we don't know. Now they move all the judiciary by the right. supported law. 
They try to put a lot of the power to politicians, and politicians uh, turn out in uh, when they do it uh, sometimes to right. uh, not actually taking care only of the right. uh, population, well, but also for themselves. We'll, we'll have to leave it at that. Professor Sviaksin, thank you for joining us.